in continuation of the previous lecture uh, that we have discussed about the plasmids cloning vectors today we are going to discuss the ti and ri plasmids cloning vectors uh, ti and ri plasmid cloning vectors are used for the cloning or the insertion of the foreign genes in the plants or uh, that is used for the production of transgenic plants ti plasmid vector it is called the ti plasmid because it in, induces the tumor inside the plants mainly dicotyledonous plants that's why it is called the tumor inducer plasmid or the ti plasmid agrobacterium timifaciens is a soil bacterium having the ti plasmid this ti plasmid is of great importance as a cloning vector for higher plants for the transfer of the desired gene in the higher plants because the receptors are for this bacterium is naturally present in the cell wall of the higher plants agrobacterium timifaciens is a soil bacterium that causes crown gall disease in many species of dicotyledonous plants crown gall is a tumor formation after infection of the bacterium or after the infection the bacteria cause a cancerous proliferation of the stem tissues in the regions of the crown it form the cancer it form the cancer proliferation in the stem or uh, in the root side of the plants the ability to pass crown gall disease is associated with the presence of the ti plasmid or the tumor inducing plasmid how this bacterium cause the cancer how this bacterium cause the uh, tumor or the Uh, crown gall disease because it having the plasmid that is called the tumor inducing plasmid the size of the plasmid is uh, very large it having a variety of genes that are responsible for the transfer of the uh, bacterium that are used for the virulence genes that are used for uh, the onco genes having the onco gene for the uh, proliferation of the cells and for the formation or the progression of the cancer so size mainly 180 to 250 kb after infection the part of the ti dna molecule is integrated into the plant chromosomal dna infection ke baad ti plasmid ka specific part plant chromosome mein integrate kar jata hai this segment that is integrated inside the plant chromosome that is called the t dna it is called the dna having the size between 15 and 30 kb that uh, depend on the strand some strand have 25 kb the every size is 15 and 30 kb that is the t dna size that the part of the dna that is integrated into the chromosome of the dna that is called the t dna and the size of this t dna is 15 to 30 kb this t dna having the onco genes this t dna is responsible for the cancer it is maintained in the stable form in the plant cell and is passed on the daughter cell as an integral part of the chromosome this t dna is become the part of the plant cell and it will uh, become the integral part of the chromosome and transfer to the daughter cells or transfer to the next cells or next part of the uh, plants the mechanism of the how uh, crown gall disease progress the healthy plant having no bacterium the agrobacterium timifaciens attach on the stem of the plants so it is the soil bacterium after the infection after the attachment it formed a wound in the stem then bacteria invade the wound and rapid cell division of the um, cells of the rapid division will occur and the uh, crown gall will formation and it is the large tissue that is called the crown it is just like the crown that's why it is called the crown gall disease it may uh, present the stem it may present the roots so it is a crown gall disease the molecular mechanism of the crown gall disease is the lps that is lipopolysaccharide portion of the cell wall attach or bind with the polygalactosuronic acid that act as a receptor for the lps these poly uh, this polygalactosuronic acid is present in the cell wall of the plant it act as a binding site for the bacterium by using lps after binding there is uh, the wound occur inside the stem this portion of the plants having the wound 
प्रोड्यूस द फिनोलिक कंपाउंड वो पॉर वो पार्ट जिसमें वाउंड प्रोड्यूस हुआ वो फिनोलिक कंपाउंड प्रोड्यूस करेंगे फिनोलिक कंपाउंड का फंक्शन क्या है दीज फिनोलिक कंपाउंड इंड्यूस द वीरजीन वीरजीन को इंड्यूस करेंगे फिनोलिक कंपाउंड द वीरजीन प्रोड्यूस एंजाइम वीरजीन एंजाइम प्रोड्यूस करेंगे वो एंजाइम दैट प्रोड्यूस सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए by forming nick on the same strand it will form a cut on the same strand and it will produce the single strand dna this single strand dna is now responsible for uh, the uh, uh, this single strand dna is carried by the plants in the plants having the this single strand dna this produce different types of the proteins different types of enzymes and different types of other uh, gene will express the most important are the ops gene ops that is for the opines opines mainly these are the gene present in the tdna uh, or the ti plasmid these are responsible for the senses of opines opines are mainly used as a source of carbon or nitrogen for the bacterium For the bacterium, OPS synthesize or synthesis. Sorry, OPS gene synthesize opines, which is required for proliferation of the bacteria. Bacteria's growth के लिए जो nitrogen और carbon source provide हो रहे हैं वो opines produce कर रहे हैं. The genes that are present in the tDNA portion that are also responsible for the production of for the synthesis of auxins and the cytokines, they result in the disorganized proliferation of the cells. तो एक्चुअली जो ट्यूमर फॉर्मेशन हो रही है दैट इज ड्यू टू द ऑक्सीजन एंड द साइटोकाइन साइटोकाइनिन्स ऑक्सीजन अगर होगी तो स्टेम सेल में एपिकल स्टेम सेल्स में क्राउन गार्ड प्रोड्यूस होगा और साइटोकाइन अगर उसकी प्रोडक्शन हो रही है तो द क्राउन गार्ड विल प्रोड्यूस इन द रूट्स सो द ट्यूमर और द गार्ड इज प्रोड्यूस और फॉर्म बाय द डिस बाय द production or the by the synthesis of the auxins and cytokines these auxins and cytokines result in the disorganized proliferation of the cells and results in the tumor or the gall these are different genes that can induce the tumor tml causes large tumor in the cell and the plants tmr causes tumor in the roots and tms causes tumor in the shoots tDNA of the ti plasmid contains eight or so genes that are expressed in the plant cells and are responsible for the cancerous properties of the transformed cells the cancerous properties kaun se genes mein maujood hain these are present uh, in the ti plasmid having the tDNA tDNA ka jo region hai us region pe wo genes maujood hain jo Uh, responsible him for the cancer properties these genes are all these gene also direct synthesis of unusual compounds like opines opines these are uh, that are the bacteria uh, that the bacteria use as the nutrients they, these are the source uh, these can be used uh, by the bacteria for their nutrients for their proliferation for their multiplication opines are derivatives of amino what are the opines opines are the derivatives of the amino acids having uh, two different types number one opine uh, octopines and nopalines mainly three types hain lekin ti plasmid ke paas octopines aur nopalines hain jo third type hai that is called agropine that is present in the ri plasmid so octopines and nopalines these are the two types of the opines octopine is formed with the two amino acids having arginine and alanine while the genes that are responsible for octopine synthesis and octopine degradation ocs ocs uh, stands for octopine synthesis for octopine synthesis and ocs for octopine degradation these genes are also present in the ti plasmid OCC sorry OCC OCC is for the octopine catabolism octopine catabolism nopalline is made up of the arginine and the glutamine NOS the gene for the nopaline are NOS NOS for nopaline synthesis and NOC for nopaline catabolism NOC for nopaline catabolism agrobiotin to be fashion genetically engineers the plant cells for its own purpose actually do uh, jo major purpose hai agrobiotin to be fashion ka for its uh, for the attack on the plants for receiving for attaining for uh, the production of its own nutrients by using the opine genes 
structure of ti plasmid ti plasmid have a variety of genes the region that is the ori for the origin of replication it is mainly used for the replication purpose virulence gene region this region is mainly responsible for the transfer of the tdna virulence uh, region genes is uh, having the uh, there are variety of genes nine different vir genes are present in the ti plasmid the most important part of the ti uh, plasmid is the region that is called the tdna tdna is a region in the ti plasmid this tdna region is responsible for the tumor or the crown gall disease it having a uh, two border left border and the right border your left or right border ke darmiyan mein region hai this region is called the tdna region this region is transferred to the plants uh, by uh, in the single stranded form in the single stranded form jo vir gene hai wo usko aise protein produce karenge jo single stranded dna ko jo nick produce karenge aur usse single stranded dna banega aur single stranded dna then transfer inside the uh, plant cells this tdna region having the gene for the opine synthesis opine synthesis ab opine depend karta octopine ya nopaline ab usi octopine or nopaline ki base pe different types of plasmids hain either it is responsible for octopine synthesis or it is responsible for the nopaline synthesis ab uh, cytokinin region are also gene are also present in the Uh, tdna region and auxins are also present in the tdna region actually jo cancer produce hote hai wohi any auxin or cytokinin uh, gene ki jo activation hai inki wajah se hi produce hote hai jo disorganized proliferation of the cells produce karte hain opine catabolism genes are uh, mainly used for the catabolism for the degradation of the opine उसमें जो इंजाइम प्रोड्यूस होंगे वो परिमेस हैं और ऑक्सीडेस हैं अगर हमने अपना जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ट्रांसफर करना है उसके लिए हमने क्या करना है द जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज इंसर्टेड इन दिस रीजन दिस टी डी ए रीजन इसको हम रिप्लेस करेंगे बाय अवर अवर ऑन डिजायर जीन सो टी डी ए इन कोड जीन्स दैट कैन बी सब्सिट्यूटेड बाय द टारगेट जीन्स टी डी ए सब्सिट्यूटेड बाय द टारगेट जीन देन अवर टारगेट जीन विल ट्रांसफर इनसाइड द प्लांट सेल as ti dna is a large dna so we have to modify the ti plasmid modification of ti plasmid as it is a large dna large size 180 to 50 kb size it induce the tumor it induce the crown gall disease it having no restriction sites because of these uh, three restrictions we have to modify the ti plasmids there are different strategies that can be used to modify the ti plasmid novel strategies have to be Uh, have to be developed for inserting new dna into the plasmids there are two important strategies uh, that are in use binary uh, sorry the binary vector strategy that use two autonomous replicating plasmid each plasmid complement with each other one plasmid is transferred and other help in the transmission of the second plasmid so two autonomous replicating plasmids that complement with each other this strategy is called binary vector strategy co integration strategy used vector that recombine homology into an uh, original ti plasmid the two di uh, plasmid will be used small plasmid and the large plasmid small plasmid integrate its uh, some sequence uh, they are having the homology into the large plasmid then it can, it can insert our gene of insert in the plants binary vector strategy having two plasmid plasmid a and plasmid b this plasmid uh, a and b both are present or both are uh, present in the same agrobacterium tumefaciens cells dono ek cell mein maujood honge dono ek ko complement karenge the tdna carried by plasmid b jo plasmid b ke paas tdna hai it is transferred to the plant chromosomal dna this tdna is will transfer into the plant dna या प्राण क्रोमोसोमल डीएनए बाय प्रोटीन्स इसकी जो ट्रांसफर इसको हेल्प कौन करेगा इट इन द ट्रांसफर ऑफ दिस टी डी एन ए इज इनकोडेड बाय द प्रोटीन बाय प्लाज्मिट ए प्लाज्मिट ए ऐसी प्रोटीन को इनकोड करेगा वो प्रोटीन इस टी डी एन ए को ट्रांसफर में हेल्प करेंगे this tdna now having the unique instruction sites and this dna will uh, use for the uh, insertion of our desired gene Co-integration strategy. Co-integration strategy में दो uh, two different plasmids इस्तेमाल हो रहे हैं. The small E. coli plasmid, 
and the normal ti plasmid that small ti plasmid have the gene to be cloned and tdna fragment when they are recombined they exchange their segments our gene of interest uh, will be inserted in this region having the tdna this region having our desired gene jo normal ti plasmid tha uske paas yahan pe tdna maujood tha lekin jab humne in dono ko co-integrate kiya recombine kiya इस जगह पे जो हाँ पे ट्री डी मौजूद है नाउ दिस रीजन हैविंग अवर डिजायर जीन हैविंग द न्यू जीन नाउ दिस प्लाज्मिट इज कॉल्ड रिकम्बिनेंट डीएनए टी प्लाज्मिट नाउ दिस कैन बी इंट्रोड्यूस द प्लांट्स एंड दिस कैन बी रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अवर डिजायर जीन टू द प्लांट्स सो टू टेक्निक्स कैन बी यूज फॉर द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द टी प्लाज्मिट वन इज द binary vector system and second is called the co integration system binary mein humne do vector istemal kiye ek ne transfer kiya dusre ne transfer mein help ki aur co integration mein ek small aur large plasmid ko co integrate kiya jo small plasmid tha uske genes ne recombine kiya jo normal ti plasmid ke sath aur ti plasmid will become the recombinant dna ti plasmid ri plasmid ri plasmids are found in the agrobacterium rhizogens agrobacterium rhizogens ri and ti plasmids are very similar the main difference being the transfer of the tdna from an ri plasmid to the plant result not in the crown gall disease but in hairy root disease ti is for the tumor inducer that is a crown gall disease and ri is for tumor inducer but hairy root disease hairy root disease that is the type of the uh, it is the typified by the massive proliferation of highly branched root system highly branched root system ke liye responsible hota hai ri plasmid to hairy root system having a massive proliferation of highly branched root system size of this plasmid ra plasmid is 250 kb strains of agrobacterium rhizogens are known to produce agropine uh, agrocinopine agrocinopine a few types of agropine group agropine are the opines that are produced by the um, ri plasmid structure of the ri plasmid having the right tdna border left tdna border auxin production cytokine production opine synthesis oncogenes but these oncogenes are responsible for hairy root disease in the plants virulence genes for the transfer of the ti plasmids origin of replication opine catabolism genes and conjugative transfer genes so this is all about the ri plasmid advantages of ri plasmid better encourage of the plants it has uh, mainly the site of the replication is the roots so it uh, easily responsible for the encourage of plants ability to resist anoxia from flooding of the soil increase drought resistance due to high root density greater chance of interaction with the soil borne mycorrhizal fungi that's all about the ti plasmid and ri plasmid ti plasmid are present in the agrobacterium timefaciens and ri plasmid are present uh, in the agrobacterium rhizogens uh, uh, both are responsible for the tumor uh, ti for the crown gall disease and the ri for hairy root disease both having the tdna regions they are having the cancer genes when we want to introduce our desired gene we have to replace we have to cut the tdna regions having the cancer genes or oncogenes uh, then our desired gene can be transferred uh, in the plants so uh, in the, for higher plants we use the ti plasmids or ri plasmid as a cloning vectors thank you so much